And coming up next on Business Tonight, how some savvy entrepreneurs are trying to leverage the Nintendo name into a new comic book business that'll go head-to-head -head with Marvel and DC Comics. Stay tuned. And turning to a different side of the entertainment industry, Nintendo is getting in to the comic book business. The Japanese company has decided to license characters from its video games, including Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda, and instead of going to an established giant of the comic book industry like Marvel or DC Comics, Nintendo is backing a new player in the business. It's a joint venture between Western Publishing and Voyager Communications, which will publish the comic books under the Valiant imprint, hoping to cash in on the $300 million a year comic book business. And the Nintendo tie-in is crucial. We plan to take on uh, the established comic book companies by expanding the market by going into distribution channels that they are not in today, specifically uh, retail outlets that carry Nintendo products as toys and games. Valiant is planning to publish three versions of the Nintendo comic books, a bi-monthly paperback, a monthly deluxe version, and a special collector's edition. All are scheduled to debut in April. The whole venture is designed to create a new force in the comic book business. And joining us now for more on the strategy is Jim Shooter, president of Voyager Communications and a former editor-in-chief at Marvel Comics. Jim, thanks for being here. Marvel. Who approached who? That no one locked up those uh, characters from Nintendo already in the comic book business. I think just about everyone else tried, but uh, Nintendo turned them down. And in fact, they weren't interested in comics at all because they, they, they kind of didn't like the... Uh, the kind of narrow focus of comics on their collectors and when we brought them a mass market plan something that would uh, was more in line with their own sensibilities they they went with us you're trying to start from scratch what are the chances of a success in an industry which is so dominated by a company you used to work for well uh, i think the chances are very good I, <coughs> excuse me i've been in this business for 25 years and uh, i had i think a, a part in making marvel the dominant force that is and uh uh, I think uh, we, we can do it again, especially with uh, characters like Nintendo. About that marketing strategy we just heard in that, that little item there, you're, you're planning not just to sell it at comic book shops or at, at the supermarket, you're really aiming at those people who are buying uh, Nintendo uh, game, uh, yeah. games? Well, yeah, we, we actually uh, specifically designed a format to, that could go on the World of Nintendo display, that could be sold in the same places as the games. We found that, that uh, we needed about a $10 price point to be in those places. And so we designed a very big, very thick, very deluxe comic book on uh, excellent paper, offset printing, heavy covers, a real it's a quality paperback, and, and it will sell for $9.95. It, it must eventually get down to the issue of will the video game addict want to pick up a book? Will they? I, I absolutely think they will because uh, we, we bring new insight. To the, to the characters. Uh, we sort of tell you the story of what's going on behind the screen. Uh, you see Mario uh, going across the screen and it's two-dimensional. Uh, if you ever wonder where he was before he went across the screen, we tell you that. I think the Nintendo players will like the depth of character that we're adding to their, to their favorite character. Well, what's your long-term strategy for the main and particular series? Do you see this as being the core of a major new comic book business and company? Well, it's certainly the thing that's going to get everyone's attention for now, but we're going to introduce our own characters. We have a number of other licenses that are very good. We have a number of ways planned to really take comics out of being sort of a, a collector's only sort of thing, which is basically what it is now, and, and bringing it back to being a mass market medium, which is how it started. Jim Shooter, best of luck with it. Thank you very much. And when Business Tonight continues, it's your chance to talk back to us. In our feedback segment today, should investors put money only into funds and companies that do good? Give us a call. There's no real intrinsic value in this, but there's either nostalgic value or there's a value in pleasure. Why, why do amusement parks do well? Because people enjoy themselves. Collector passion is also behind the recent surge in comic book sales. The industry is riding double-digit sales growth with earnings of more than $500 million a year. Newcomers like Voyager Communications saw a chance to make big money. One year ago, Voyager started to build a stable of successful superheroes like XO Man of War and Solar. And today, those characters generate revenues in excess of $6 million. 
Creator James Shooter says entertaining stories are the key well, that, to future growth. We have to not consider the job done of making a comic book until the reader has read it and has gotten such a rush from it that he wishes he could tie a towel around his neck and fly around the backyard and pretend he's a superhero. Finally, economists are cheered by the strength of small business. They point out, historically, it has been the entrepreneurs who have led America out of its recessions. I'm Christopher Jones for Fox Business News.